Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd. This is my friends at Yarnspirations.com. Today is the Evergreen Mosaic Crochet Blanket. This is going to be a significant video today because I'm going to take you through the complete repeat, which is a lot of rows. And so you're going to notice that these uh, Christmas trees or evergreen trees are going to line up perfectly. And there is a crochet diagram to follow. On camera, just so that you're aware, I am going to be using Peyton's Lincoln Fog. Um, I just like the texture of it, and it's also got a little bit of green there. Um, I, for tutorial reasons, I didn't want to use transitioning yarn so that you can see how the colors are going to work together. So I'm going to have a few ground rules before we begin. On page number seven is the complete diagram in order to make this work. You're going to notice is that there's red lines, and these are indicating what the repeat is going all the way across. I'm going to take you through one repeat and then you're going to repeat over and over and over to the end and then I'll show you how to finish off an edge. So this is how I'm going to do it. So when I say that you need to repeat, you're going to go there. Now, when you're doing something like this, it's a lot easier if you use like sticky notes or something and you kind of highlight only what you want. Therefore, you can only see the line that you're working with because it will make this concept a lot easier. So we need to set, uh, set up our rows. So, uh, so rows number one, two, and three are the setup. You're going to repeat the pattern then from, uh, sorry, you're gonna do the pattern from one all the way to 40, and then you can repeat over and over and over. And then when you're ready for the ending of this blanket, you're gonna do rows number one through 20, and that which is the same as this information, and then you'll finish off the final rows up here in order to have the balance. So without further ado, um, we're going to go through what the stitch multiple is next. On page number two, you're going to find the stitch multiple is 14 chains plus four. So you go 14, 14, 14, 14 with your happy with the width, just add four more. And therefore you'll have this uh, concept all ready to go and get started in order to make this happen. So let's begin. And we're going to start with setup row number one. So we're going to jump right in today. You can either chain 144 or you can do the multiples of 14 chains plus four. So I'm going to do the multiple and you can decide which way you want to go and please chain the number that you want. So either 144 or multiples of uh, 14 chains plus four. Set up row number one. Go second chain from the hook and I usually get the back hump of the chain. If you don't want to, then just do the regular and just single crochet yourself all the way across your chain. So just one single in each chain across for setup row number one. So I'm coming up all the way across on setup row number one. I'm gonna take you back to the diagram. I'm going to explain, I'm just gonna turn my work and put it aside, and I'm going to explain the diagram a little bit more detailed in the video chapters. So how I'm gonna do this is that we're gonna to change to the next color, so setup row number two. And I'm going to say in the video chapters, which is in the video description or the video information, is that I'm gonna say start setup row number two, and then I'm going to have a new chapter and say setup row two repeat, and the repeat is within the red lines. So I'm gonna say this. So therefore in the video chapters, you can just continue to scroll back then just by hitting the chapter and you can hit setup row repeat or row, to, row number two repeat. So then it will repeat, repeat, repeat. Then I will bring it back and then we're gonna say setup row um, number two the ending, so how the row ends. So just know, just know that these red lines do change positions. So I think it's the easiest way for me to, to do that for you. So let's begin setup row number two. So let's do setup row number two, right where you've already turned, pull up a large loop on your white, and now let's grab our green, and we're going to start our green at this position. And so these two rows will be then green that are coming up. So move the white out of the way and use the first stitch. So you're gonna go down with green and back with green and then switch over to white when you get back. So let's just join it. So just chain one, one, uh, and then we're going to single crochet then the first three. So one, two, and three. So let's begin setup row number two, the repeat section. So let's begin the repeat. Whenever you jump over a stitch in this pattern, you if it's just jumping over one stitch, you were going to chain two. If you're jumping over more than one, you always chain an extra one compared to the jump. And we'll talk about that as we go. So we're going to begin, you're gonna chain two, and you're gonna skip only one and single crochet into the next two.
you're going to chain two again, jump one, and single crochet in the next three. So one, two, and three. Chain two, jump one, and single crochet in the next two. Chain two, jump one, and single into the next three. One, two, three. So this is your cue to use the video chapters to go back to the repeat of row number two. And you're gonna repeat this section until you get close to the other side. And I'll see you uh, closer to the other side in a moment. So continue the repeat and I'll see you at the end of setup row number two. So then the repeat will take you to about here and then we're gonna finish the final together on camera. So let's do the ending of setup row number two. To finish the ending of setup row number two, you're going to chain two skip just one and single crochet in the next two. Chain two, skip just one and single crochet in the next three. Chain two, skip the next one, single crochet in the next two. chain two, skip one, and single crochet in the final three. And that takes you to the end of setup row number two. I'm gonna explain one more thing as you continue in this pattern so we can get faster in the future. And let me take you back to the diagram and show you. So currently we're here. And so we're gonna chain up one. Whenever you're going back in this direction, so in the return pass of the same color, you're always gonna match stitch to stitch, chain for chain. So if there is a single crochet below, make it a single crochet. If there is a chain, then match it with the same count chain to jump over. So I usually say match stitch to stitch, chain for chain, go all the way across. Because there's so many rows here, I'm gonna make it simpler for myself. I'm gonna say do a return pass, and the return just means that we're coming over. The only time that we're changing locations of the stitches and the drop downs are always in the up in the direction when you're starting a brand new color. So when we start white up again, you're going to notice is that we're going to change out locations. We're gonna be doing some drop downs and all of the fun stuff, and that'll be happening. So let's do setup row number three. The return pass. Set up row number three, turn your work, match chain to chain, stitch to stitch, so just start and just single crochet in any single crochet that you have. And if there's a chain, just remember the chain count below. In this case, it was the chain two, so chain two to jump over it and match the single crochets on the other side of the jump. So you're creating these matching spaces when you do a return pass. And so return pass all the way, and I'll see you on officially row number one of the repeating of the pattern next. So I'm coming close to the other side. So when I give you instructions to return pass, you're gonna end up back to where you started. And what you're going to do is that you are going to, on the final two here, you are going to drop this color and you are going to pull the white in. Okay, so pull the white in and pull through. Okay, and that'll get that ready. And what's gonna happen is that you wanna do that every time. So you're gonna see a line carrying up on the one side. So when I say return pass, you're gonna return all the way and you're gonna get your next color ready. So then it's two rows then of white. We're officially gonna start row number one. Row number one, using the white, chain up one and let's do the starting section. So you're gonna do the first three as single crochets. So we have one, two, and three. Now I'm gonna say, I'm gonna call it drop down. So what this is, it's a double crochet into this empty stitch right here. And so you're just gonna double crochet, only pick out the stitch, don't go all the way through, pick it out and stay on the front. This is the good side of the work, the right side, and you're gonna double crochet down. 
and then that counts as the stitch that it's sitting in front of, which is the chain. So you're automatically gonna jump to the next single crochet that's available to you. And you'll do that one plus the one next door. And then drop down once again. We're now going to begin the repeating of row number one. I need you to chain four. So one, two, three, four, and skip just three stitches. So ignore the chain one because that counts as the double crochet that it's sitting in front of. So you're gonna skip the next three. So you're gonna skip one, two, and three, and then you're immediately just gonna jump down. Okay, so there's a lot of jumping there. And then you're going to single crochet the next two. And then you're gonna jump down. A general rule is if you see a chain space like that underneath, chances are you're, you're dropping down. You're then going to single crochet the next one, chain two, skip one and single crochet into the next one after it. You're then going to jump down, single crochet in the next two, And jump down on the next one. So this is the end of the repeat for row number one. So you can scroll back using the video chapters and continue the repeat all the way and I'll see you at the end of the section and you can see the red line in the pattern. So I'll see you there in just a moment. So here's the ending section of row number one. You're going to chain four. So one, two, three, and four and you just come down and you're just going to drop down. So skipping three, and the next one has to be a drop down. S single crochet in the next two. And then drop down. And then single crochet in the final three. This was row number one, so you're gonna turn your work do row number two, stitch to stitch, chain to chain, and repeat that across, and I'll see it, and we'll start row number three together using green, so get that ready when you get back. Before I let you go too far, see these chain fours? Make sure that you keep those as chain fours when you jump over them as well. So um, you're, you're gonna notice that you're either gonna chain two to jump or you're chaining four in this pattern. Okay, now I'll officially see you on row number three. Okay, let's begin row number three. You're going to chain up one and you're going to single crochet in the first two. So one and two. Then you're going to chain two and skip the next one. So the repeating of row number three is gonna start right here, right where I'm pinching with my thumb for this one. So now we're going to begin the repeat section, row number three, and you're going to single crochet starting in this one, the next four in a row. So we have one, two, three, four, and then you're gonna jump on down for these three here. And you're just gonna jump down with the double crochet, picking it out of the background, leave the chains spaces in behind. And so that covers over top of the work to form the tree trunks of your tree. So you're doing the three in a row. And then you're gonna do, starting in the next single crochet, the next four. So we have one, two, three, and four. You have to chain two, 
and then jump down here. So you're skipping this one and jump down. And then chain two. And you'll skip the first one out and then you're gonna go back to the repeat of row number three and repeat this all the way across. And I'll see you at the end of the repeating section to finish off row number three with you on camera. To finish off row number three, I'm going to pick up after the red line. So I'm skipping the first one after I've come down. So I've already chained two uh, because that's part of the repeat section. So now you're just going to single crochet the next four. So one, two, three, and four. And then jump on down and collect those three. Just think of it as the base of the tree. You're building out the trunk, plus then the base leaves are the base of the leaves. So these three are now in, and so you're gonna single crochet the next four. So we have one, two, three, and four. Chain two, skip one, and single crochet the final two. So turn your work for number four, Matt, and do a return pass and change yourself to white when you get all the way back. Let's do number five and six. Chain up one, and you're going to single crochet then the next two. And you see the space here, so you're gonna have to jump down. and then single crochet the next one. And now the repeat of row number five begins. Starting the repeat, you're going to chain two and skip one. And then you're going to single crochet the next one, two, three, four, five, six, and six. So skipping one, you're going to single crochet the next seven. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Chain two, single crochet the next one, or sorry, uh, skip this one, single crochet the next and then jump on down. Single crochet the next, and then jump on down. So I've just jumped on down, and then I'm going to single crochet the next. So this will end the repeat then for row number five, and so you can scroll back, and then I will see you on how to finish the line in just a moment. To finish a fifth row, after you've got the repeat sectioning done, you're then going to chain two, skip one, and you're going to single crochet the next seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Chain two, skip one, single crochet the next, drop on down, and then single crochet the final two that you'll have. So number six is a return pass with the same color, and I'll see you at the end of that, and make sure you get ready for the green in just a moment. So do row number six. Okay, let's do number seven and eight. Chain up one, and single crochet the first three. The repeating of row number seven is about to begin. So you're going to chain two and then drop on down. So skip one and drop down. And now you're going to single crochet the next seven in a row. So one, two, three, 
four, five, six, and seven. You're then gonna drop down. Chain two. Skip one and single crochet the next three in a row. So one, two, this will be number two, and three. And this is the ending of the repeat. So go back, scroll back, and then you'll repeat this across and I'll see you on how to finish the row. This is row number seven. To finish off row number seven, after the repeating, just chain two, skip one, and drop on down. Then single crochet the next seven in a row. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Drop on down. Chain two. Skip one and single crochet the final three that are left. So one, two, and three. So that's it, turn your work, match your stitches across, do the return pass, and I'll see you on row number nine in a moment using the color white. Let's begin number nine using white. Chain up one and single crochet the first three in a row. two, and three. Drop on down. And then single crochet the next one. The repeat will start right now. So let's begin number nine, repeat. Chain two. Skip one and single crochet the next five. One, two, three, four, and five. Chain one, skip one, and single crochet in the next. Drop down. Single crochet the next three. One, two, three, drop down, and single crochet the next one. So then just scroll back using the video chapters for the repeating of number nine, and I'll see you on how to finish row number nine in a moment. To finish row number nine, you're going to chain two, skip one, single crochet the next five. So one, two, three, four, five, chain two, and then skip one, single crochet the next, and then drop down, and then single crochet the last three. So one, two, three. Turn your work, do row number 10, and maybe, and we'll start row number 11 together. So let's begin row number 11. Chain up one, and single crochet in the first four. One, two, three, and four. And then chain two, and you're gonna skip the next one, and the repeat will start right here. So let's begin the repeat for row number 11. You're going to make sure that you did skip that last one and just drop on down and single crochet the next five in a row. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Then you're gonna drop on down 
you are going to chain two, skip the next single, and then you are going to single crochet in the next five. So one, two, three, four, five, and chain two, and then this is where the repeat will pick back up. So please continue the repeat and I'll see you on how to finish row number 11 in a moment. To finish row 11, you're gonna make sure that you chain two, that was part of the repeat and skipping this one. So as you finish, you're going to just drop on down, single crochet the next five. So one, two, three, four, and five, and drop on down. Chain two, skip the next one, and you're gonna single crochet the last four in a row. Okay, now you're gonna turn your work, do row number 12, the return pass, and I'll see you on number 13 in a moment. So you can see the trees are really starting to turn out now. So row, row number 13, chain up one, and you're gonna single crochet in the first four. One, two, three, and four. And you see the space, so you're gonna have to drop down. And then single crochet in the next. The repeat for row number 13 starts now. So you're going to chain two, skip one, and you are going to single crochet the next three. So one, two, three, chain two, and then you're gonna skip one and single crochet in the next, and then drop on down. You're going to single crochet the next five in a row. So we have one, two, three, four, and five. You're gonna drop on down and single crochet the next. So you'll start the repeat again for row number 13 and then I'll show you how to finish the row in a moment. To finish off row number 13, you're going to immediately start and you're going to just chain two, skip one, and single crochet the next three. Chain two, skip one, single crochet in the next, and then drop on down. And then you're going to single crochet the final four. So turn your work and do row number 14 and do the return pass and maybe on number 15 in just a moment. Number 15, chain up one and you're going to single crochet in the first five. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, and five. And this is the start of the repeat for row number 15. Chain two, and then skip one and drop on down. And single crochet the next three in a row. So we have one, two, and three and then drop on down. Chain two, skip one, and single crochet the next seven. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And that is going to be the ending of the repeat. So go back and repeat and I'll show you how to finish off number 15. 
Let's finish off row number 15. So you're going to chain two and you're going to skip one and then jump on down. Single crochet the next three. Drop on down. Chain two. And then you're going to single crochet, skip one and single crochet the last five. So one, two, three, four, and five. Turn your work and do row number 16. And I'll see you on the return uh, in just a moment. And we'll begin the next one, number 17. Okay, number 17. Chain up one, and you're going to single crochet the next five in a row. So we have one, two, three, four, and five. And then you're gonna jump on down. And then single crochet in the next. And the repeat for this row starts now. To repeat, you're going to chain two to begin, skip one, single crochet in the next, chain two, single crochet and uh, skip one and single crochet into the next, and then jump on down. Now you're going to single crochet the next seven in a row. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. You're gonna jump on down and then single crochet into the next, which then will conclude the repeat. So repeat across and I'll see you on how to finish row number 17 in a moment. To finish off row number 17, just chain two, skip one, single into the next, chain two, skip one, single into the next. Jump on down. Like that. And then starting in the next one, you'll single crochet the final five. So one, two, three, four, and five. Turn your work and go across number 18 and I'll see you on number 19 in just a moment. Row number 19 and 20, and if you're following the repeat throughout the whole blanket, uh, row number 20 is the ending uh, before you're finishing the final section of the blanket once you get all the way on the height, so just be aware of that. You're going to chain up one and you'll single crochet in the first three. So one, two, and three, and then the repeat starts here. Chain two, skip one, and single crochet in the next two. Chain two, skip one, and then just drop on down. Single into the next, and then drop on down. Chain two, skip one, and single crochet in the next two. Chain two, skip one, and single crochet in the next three. So just go back to the repeat for row number 19 to continue across, and I'll show you how to finish number 19 in a moment. So to finish off row number 19, we're just going to chain up two, skip one, single into the next two, chain two, skip one, and then jump on down. Single into the next, and then jump on down. Chain two, 
skip one and single crochet in the next two, chain two, skip one, and single crochet in the last three. Turn your work, do your return pass, and I'll see you on number 21 in just a moment. Number 21, chain up one and single crochet the first three. Two and three. And then you're gonna drop on down. Single crochet the next two. Drop on down. And then single crochet the next one. So the repeat for this row starts now. Chain two, skip one, and single crochet the next, and then drop on down. Single crochet the next two, drop on down. And now the Christmas trees that we have here are being shifted, so we're gonna be in between the trees now. So we're going to chain four. So one, two, three, four. So you can identify that that will be the trunk of the tree later. And you're going to skip the next three only, and then you're gonna drop on down. Then you're going to single crochet the next five in a row. Sorry, my apologies. You're gonna uh, crochet the next two in a row. So one and two, and then drop on down. And then single crochet in the next. And you're gonna go back to the repeat then of row number 21, and I'll show you how to finish in just a moment. To finish off row number 21, you're going to chain up two, skip one, single to the next, Drop down, single crochet the next two, drop down, and then single crochet the final three. And then you're gonna do your return pass for row number 22, and I'll see you on number 23 in just a moment. Let's begin number 23. Chain up one, and you're going to single crochet in the first seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and then chain two. And the repeat starts at this moment. Continue the repeating. You're going to skip one and then drop down. Chain two, skip one, and you are going to single crochet then the next four. So one, two, three, and four. And then the next three are drop downs. So we're now creating a new tree here in this area. You were then going to single crochet the next four. So one, two, three, four. And then you're going to chain two and that's the end of the repeat. So go back and do the repeat, and I'll show you how to finish this row, number 23. To finish number 23, after I've done my chain two, I've skipped. So I'm starting officially now, coming down as my starting one. Chain two, skip the next one, and I'm going to single crochet the final seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six and 
and seven. Turn your work and do row number 24 as the return pass, and we'll see you on number 25 in just a moment. Row number 25, chain up one, and you're going to single crochet in the first five. So one, two, three, four, and five. The repeat now starts. Chain up two, skip one, single into the next, and then drop down. Single into the next, and then drop down. Single into the next, and then create a space of chain two, and then skip the next one, and then do the next seven in a row. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And that's the end of the repeat, so go scroll back for the repeat, and then I'll see you at the end of this row, number 25. To finish off number 25, you're going to just chain two, skip the next one, single into the next one after that, drop down. Single into the next, and then drop down. This is finalizing the tree below. Single into the next, chain two, and then you're going to skip one and do the last five. So one, two, three, four, and five. And then turn your work and do row number 26, and I'll see you on number 27 in just a moment. Number 27, chain up one and single crochet the first five. So one, two, three, four, and five and then jump on down. Okay, so now the repeat starts here. Chain two, skip one, and single crochet in the next three. So one, two, three, chain two, skip one, and then just jump on down. Now you're going to single crochet the next three. So you're gonna go, or sorry, the next seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and then jump on down. And then that's the end of the repeat. So just scroll back, get that, and I'll show you how to finish row number 27 in just a moment. Okay, to finish off this row on the edge, number 27, just chain up two. I would say chain up, but just chain. Okay, and then um, skip one, single crochet in the next three. It's because usually I'm chaining, I'm going up a side. Okay, so then chain two, and then skip one and drop on down. Okay, and then you're going to single crochet the final five. So one, two, three, four, and five, and then you'll just turn do number 28, and I'll see you back here in a moment to start number 29. Number 29, chain one, and then single crochet the first four. So one, two, three, and four, and then chain two, and then skip one, and then the repeat starts here. To do the repeating then, you're going to single crochet the next, so you're skipping one after you've done the chain two in the last repeat, and then you're just gonna come on down and drop. Single crochet the next three. And then drop. Single crochet the next one, 
chain two and skip one and single crochet the next five. So one, two, three, four, and five. And then chain two, skip one, and then the repeat starts right here. So please scroll back for the repeat and I'll see you at the end of the row. Let's finish off number 29. So I'm already in the last repeat, so I've already chained two, skipped one. And so I will single into the next one and then drop on down. Single into the next three. Drop on down. Single into the next one chain two, skip one, and single into the last four. Okay, row number 30, you're just gonna turn your work and do the return pass and I'll be right back. Row number 31, chain one, and single crochet in the first four. So one, two, three, four, and then drop on down. The repeat starts here for row number 31. Chain two, skip the first one out, and you were going to single crochet then the next five. So one, two, three, four, and five. Chain two, skip the next one, and then drop. Single crochet the next five. So one, two, three, four, and five. And then single, or sorry, then drop down. And that was the end of the repeat. So just scroll back for the repeat and I'll see you at the end of the row in a moment. To finish this row, chain two, skip one, and single the next five. One, two, three, four, and five. Chain two, skip one, and then drop down. And then single crochet the last four. So one, two, three, and four. Turn your work, do row number uh, 32, and I'll see you back here in just a moment. Let's move on to number 33. Chain one and single crochet in the first three. This will be the start of the repeat of the section. Chain two, skip one, and you are going to single crochet into the next, and then drop on down. Single crochet into the next five, one, two, three, four, and five, and then drop on down. Single crochet into the next, chain two, and single crochet in the next three. So skipping one and single crochet in the next three. So this is the end of the repeat going all the way across. And I'll see, I'll show you how to finish out the end in just a moment on the end of row number 33. Okay, the ending in number 33, you're just gonna chain two, you'll skip one, you'll single crochet into the next. The next one you'll drop down. And then single crochet the next five. So one, two, three, four, five, and then jump on down, single into the next, chain two, skip one, and single crochet into the final three. Row number 34, you're just gonna turn your work and do the return pass, and I'll see you in number 35 in just a moment. Row number 35, chain one, 
and single into the first three. So one, two, three, and then drop on down. The repeat starts now. So chain two, skip one, and single crochet into the next seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then you're going to chain two, skip one, and then just drop down. And then single crochet the next three. So one, two, three, and then you were just going to drop down. So this will be the end of the repeating section. So just scroll back and get yourself across and I'll show you how to finish this row. This is row number 35. To finish the row, chain two, skip one and single crochet into the next seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven chain two, skip one, and then drop on down. And then single crochet into the final three. So row number 36 is just the return pass, and I'll see you at the end of that in just a moment. Number 37, chain one, single crochet into the first two. And then chain two, and skip one, and then the repeat starts next. To do the repeat, after you've skipped the one and already done the chain two that is part of the, the previous section, you were just going to single crochet into the next and then jump on down. You were then going to single crochet the next seven in a row. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and then jump on down. Single crochet into the next, chain two, skip one, single into the next, chain two, skip the next, and the repeat starts here. So just scroll back, and then I'll show you how to finish row number 37. To finish off this row, you're, or you've already chained two and skipped one, that's part of the last repeat. So just after you skip, just single into the next and then drop on down. And then single into the next seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Drop on down. single into the next, chain two, skip one, and single into the final two. So you're gonna turn and do row number 38 as the return pass, and I'll be right back, and we'll do number 39 next. 39 and 40 is the last of the major repeat, so let's begin. Chain up one and single crochet in the first two, and then drop on down. The repeat starts here, chain two, skip one, single into the next two. Chain two, skip one, single into the next three. Chain two, skip one, and single into the next two. Chain two, skip one, and immediately drop, single into the next, and you're going to drop, and that's the end of the repeat for this row. So just scroll back if you need to know that again, and then I'll show you how to finish row number 39 in a moment.
So this is how you finish the rows. So chain two, skip one, single into the next two, chain two, skip one, single to next three, chain two, skip one, single to the next two, chain two, skip the next one and just drop on down and then single crochet in your final two. So you're gonna turn your work and do number 40, just the return pass, and then we're gonna talk about the repeating. We've now just completed rows one through 40. Now, you're just gonna go back and repeat one through 40. And what you're aiming for is that the blanket entire height will be 59 and a half inches, ending on a 20th row. So if you want to continue to add more and more and make it longer, you just keep on going. Just make sure that you end on a 20th row because then the final few rows that are left are going to match up to that in order to have the balance. What I'm going to do off camera is that I'm currently on row number 40. I am going to crochet myself all the way through one through 20 one more time on my own. And then I'll show you how to finish off the last few rows together. And then we'll talk about the border after that. So let's uh, begin uh, to do that section. You're just gonna repeat one through 40, one through 40, and then about 15 and a half inches, you should be at the round at the end of number 20, and then you'll end up finishing off the blanket with the last few rows, which is the goal. So let me do this off camera, and I'll be right back in a few seconds from now. So I'm now back, and I've completed rows number one through 20 once again, and I'm currently right here. And we're gonna finish the final six rows together. It's on the chart and those will be giving conclusions. So after you get your multiples of one through 40 uh, completely done and then do it again and again, uh, row number 20 will be about 59 and a half inches as I mentioned before. So we need to have this side of the blanket kind of match the way that it started off. And so the final six rows that we're gonna do together is gonna do that. So let's continue into next round, number one. Okay, like the rest of the rows, I would give you where the repeat starts so that you can continue along. So you're gonna chain one and you are going to single crochet in the first three. So one, two, and three, and then drop down. And then single crochet the next two. Drop down. And then single crochet the next one. So the repeat will start here. So chain two, skip one, and single crochet in the next, and then drop down, single crochet in the next two, drop down, single crochet in the next three, then drop down, single crochet in the next two, drop down, and then single crochet in the next one, and that's where the repeat will pick back up. So just scroll back if you need that, and I'll show you how to finish the row. To finish this row, after the repeating is done, just chain two, skip the next one, single into the next, then drop down, single crochet in the next two, drop down, and then single crochet at the final three. You'll do your return passes you already know how to do. Just turn the work and just chain to chain, stitch to stitch, and do that all the way across, and I'll be right back. Okay, this is the next row. For number three and four so you're going to chain one and you'll single crochet in the first three so one two and three chain two and then skip one and single crochet in the next three so one two three and then chain two and you'll skip one and this is where the repeat starts for this row so let's begin the repeat. So you're, you're after this one, you're skipping this one. 
and just come on down. So you go to jump down and then chain two. And then you're gonna skip the next one and single crochet into the next three. So one, two, and three. Chain two, skip one, do the next three. So one, two, and three. Chain two, skip one, and single crochet in the next three. So one, two, and three. And then chain two, and this, and you'll skip this one, and this is the repeat. So scroll back if you need that, and I'll meet you on the other side of this row. To finish up this row, after you've done your chain two and you skipped one as per the repeat, um, you're gonna come down and you're gonna drop down, chain two, skip one, single crochet in the next three, so one, two, three, chain two, skip one, and do the last three. So you're gonna turn your work and you'll just do your return pass and then we have two more rows left. In doing your return pass you're just coming and this is the final time for this color so when you do your final one here just change it out to the white. I've already trimmed the, the green because it's take number two so trim your green and the green will be done. So you're going to use a tapestry needle use that to hide it in to the work and then I'll just leave that aside. This is an intermediate level so I assume that you know how to do that. So now we're gonna do our last row. I realized just moments ago that I thought there were six rows left when you finish a repeat after row number 20. It's actually only five. So we're going to just do our final row. So you're just gonna fill in the spots only. We're no longer gonna create any chain two spaces. So if there's a drop down, fill it in and just basically everything is getting a single crochet in between. So after you chain one, single crochet yourself across. And then if there's a drop down, fill it in. So fill that in. And so then you'll end up with a, a side that's completely ready for a border. Okay, so you don't really have to count anything. If you see a drop down, just fill it in. So do this all the way across, and then we'll talk about um, what's next after that. So I'm coming up across, and this is gonna be the end of this color as well and we're gonna just fasten off. You're gonna to wanna to weave in all your ends and tails and stuff with a tapestry needle. And we're going to begin the border. And the border we need to start off with on the right side, and I'm gonna show you some techniques and I'm gonna to talk to you about the coloring as well. So here in the border, you wanna start with any side, at any corner, and you want to evenly space out your single crochets along here. The nice thing about the border is that it doesn't require a certain multiple to hit in order to do it. They do have advice though, it's going to be working approximately four single crochets for every fifth row. So you can see that you have one, two, three, four, and five. So there's got to be four single crochets across that span of five. And if you put in a single crochet at the end of each one of these, it'll probably buckle. And that's why they're suggesting that. So what you wanna do is that I'm going to start you down um, here and I'm gonna show you how to bury in these tails or these ends that you'd covered. And then the next round is with the wrong side. You're just, uh, you're gonna turn it. So at the end of each round, you're gonna turn the project around so that it ends up um, going back and forth in the rows like that. And they're suggesting that so that it keeps the blanket uh, looking square. Then round number three with the color B, you're just gonna just follow it around. Every time there's a corner, you're just gonna do one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet. And these six rounds are the same thing as round number three using the color B. So I'm gonna get yourself started. I'm gonna show you how to bury in your ends and we're going to be uh, continuing that journey next. So I'm just gonna use a completely different color and we're gonna start off in a corner. It can be any corner, make sure the right side's facing up. You can tell the difference. And we're gonna go right in there. So when you go into a corner, we're going to start by just going in and just attach, chain one, single crochet, chain two, 
and single crochet. Now I'm going to go up along a side here because that's the most critical that you need to know. And remember what it said, it was four stitches for every five rows. So we're going to start off and just start counting as you go. So there's one, two, and noticing that I'm picking up these strands and bearing them up underneath. So just kind of move them up and get them stuck underneath that border. Not behind, but right into the border itself. And then they said it was about four stitches for every five. So we got one, two, three, four, five. So then just go like that. So if you go at the end of each uh, row, you'll probably buckle. So then do another four over the next five. So just keep going over the strands that are being dragged up. So two, three, and four. And you're gonna do that. When you get to the next corner up here, you're going in the very corner, you're going to single crochet, chain two, single crochet. You're gonna go one stitch in each one of these. And then you're gonna go down the other side in the same way that I'm showing you here. And then when you get to the bottom corner, you'll turn and then you'll put one stitch in each one of these. So it's just the side that you have to worry about. So the first row, the round is actually the most one you have to think about. Now, when you get to the end of the row, you're going to attach and you're gonna turn it around and you're going to go on the wrong side and you're gonna go in the opposite direction and making an, and it's just one single crochet in each of the stitches now. You don't need to bother counting. And then in the corner, um, chain two spaces, you'll put in one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet. For rounds number three all the way through nine, you'll be using the color B. So in my case, it would have been green. And you're gonna do those um, last seven rows in the same format so make sure that you keep turning at the end of each round in order to keep the balance and so this is a really neat idea um really the the hardest work in this whole thing is basically the the um mosaic itself but you can see if i zoom you out here a bit let me just take a look here if i zoom you out this thing looks really cool like really cool and uh, even with the white you could almost say that that's christmas trees but in the opposite direction too so really neat and I hope that you enjoyed. It was a very long uh, videotaping today and hopefully you've stuck it around. If not, that's okay too. And we're always here to help. We'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye.